Hello and welcome again to Over the Hill Outdoors. A few years ago, I made a series of videos about fire starters that I created from conifer resin mixed with various fibrous materials. This type of fire starter is much easier to light, it produces a hotter flame, and it burns significantly longer than tinder all by itself. In our area, conifer resin is better known as pine gum or pine pitch, but it's not just pines that produce it. Pines, spruce, firs, larch, and other conifer trees all produce this highly flammable material. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the harvest and use of blister resin to make fire starters and I'll be using the inner bark of aspen as the fiber source. This, this has been an unusually heavy snowfall year in northern Utah, so most of my other preferred tinders, such as uh, thistle fluff or dried grass or uh, stem fibers from the nettle plant, they were all completely buried this year by snow. I'll take you with me today on one of my recent snowshoe outings to show you just how easy it is to start a fire using uh, resin from fir tree blisters. Here I am in the mountains of southeastern Idaho on a blustery February day. Snow depth here is well over my head. The tree species around me are primarily lodgepole pine, aspen, and subalpine fir. The fir trees are the darker green conifers with the pointier tops and uh, the smoother bark. I head for a cluster of trees uh, containing a few firs to see if I can find one with some good blisters. Here's a good one, out of the wind and with plenty of dead fuel wood nearby. The first thing I do is collect some dry inner bark from a dead aspen tree or two to use as my, my tinder fiber. Once collected, I crush and, and rub the, the papery material uh, together to create a ball of, of individual fibers. This will be my tinder ball. I also cut and sharpen a dry stick to serve as my, as my blister lance. I've used my knife blade sometimes before to puncture the blisters and, and to collect the resin, but but it makes a sticky mess on your knife blade that it's, it's really difficult to clean it off, so a sharp stick is a much better idea. I begin collecting resin by puncturing individual blisters, pressing out the resin, and collecting it on the stick. Then, I wipe it on the ball of aspen fibers. Collect as much resin as you can. The more you mix into your bundle of tinder, the longer and hotter your fire starter is going to burn. And then once you've collected all the resin you can, you want to thoroughly mix the resin with the tinder fibers. Adding a little dried resin to the tinder ball, if you have it, will also extend the burning time of your fire starter. Then it's just a matter of putting a good spark into the tinder ball. Of course, you should already have collected plenty of dry kindling 
and fuel wood and have it placed in easy reach so that you can add it as needed to the flame. So that's all there is to it. Um, I found this to be the most reliable, consistent method of, of starting a fire when I'm um, in wintry, snowy conditions up in the mountains. I hope you'll give this method a try the next time you're up in the mountains, anywhere near some fir trees. Good luck and enjoy those outdoors.